Hi guys, how far are thou diddling? Casual gamers, back again. And it's the weekend. So I always try to bring you guys something a little bit special. Uh, on Fridays or over the weekend. So today, um, the little Prezi, if you like, is going to be uh, Metroid Rogue Dawn. Now, Metroid Rogue Dawn uh, is based on the um, the original Metroid uh, game. It's basically a makeover. It's a uh, uh, ROM hack, right? So, and I think this is one of the best out there, as far as I can make out, right? So, um, it is in fact a, a Metroid game for the NES Famicom. Set shortly before the events of Metroid, the Space Pirates have discovered the planet SR388, home of the deadly life-draining Metroids, while shooting down a Galactic Federation ship. They follow the stricken craft down to the surface and slaughter the surviving crew, but not before they send out a distress call. The pirates have limited time to explore the planet. So they send out their finest warriors along with a human warrior trained personally by Ridley. Right, if you want to know a little bit more about that backstory, you can always look it up. So yeah, now you know me. If you're one of my crew, one of my subscribers, you know that I just dive blindly into these things. So what I'm going to do, we're going to take a quick butchers. See what it's like. And... Um, I'm going to leave some links in the description as to what you need if you're interested in this. And it is easy. I mean, it is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, it is easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. But you will need the original uh, Metroid NES ROM, okay? So, um, which also includes the, the patch. Um, so I'll leave that in the description. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. So let's take a look. File empty that one then. Destination arrival of planet SR388. Hibernation sleep cycle terminated. And there we are. Look at us. Oh, that's a nice art style, isn't it? Right, so what we're supposed to do here then? You know me. I'll just... Uh, it's a question of trial, trial and error. Hey, up. What's down here? If anything, can I drop on and turn to a ball? Look, it's all right, isn't it? Right, I, I'm... You know, supposedly there's nothing here. as I can make out. Alright, so then let's uh, see what's over this way. What the hell is that? Can I get up there? No, you can't. I can jump quite high though, I believe. I can jump quite high, but not quite high enough. Not quite high enough to get up there, but anyway. But I should be able to get up there. I feel like I should be able to get up there. Yeah, I can. Bloody hell, can I shoot him? No. Are there spikes or something, or just a blah? To try that out. They do look suspicious. Suspiciously like spikes, but they're not. But what, what's that? Missile. That's our first find. Uh, I don't know if I can remember how we use them. We've got five, and I think it was something to do with the select button, if I remember rightly. But don't quote me on that. Um, just gonna have a quick check to see how it's recording. It seems to be fine. Everything's going well, apparently. You never know. You never know. Things can go pear-shaped at any given moment. So there you go. So let's uh, mosey on down here. And 
and uh, into this door. And what have we got here? We'll get a bit of action in a minute, I think. Hey, up. Was I supposed to go to the right there first? We've got a map. Oh, we've got a map. Which these things to me are bloody confusing in these Metroid games. But anyway, uh, we've got another sort of complex there. And if we go down this way, God, that's big. Jeez, look at that. How big is this thing? Anyway, I don't want to get bogged down in that, so. Because that's all part and parcel of uh, Metroid, isn't it? That exploration. Um, Warning, biological infestation detected in main car. Oh shit! Oh you bugger! Does that mean... Does that mean I can't actually... Ah oh, shit, I'm wasting them. I've wasted them. Well, that was short lived. Anyway. Can I get through there? Look at that, just about. Not quite. Not quite, mate. I'm gonna be on the next step up. Oh, you can jump through that sign. Didn't realise. That doesn't mean to say we're gonna get up there. At all. But you never know. Yeah, my platforming skills leave a lot to be desired, don't they? I need a super jump or something. Anyway, let's blast through here. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. And you people have got lives to get on with. Control room. Sick bay. Mmm. What the hell is that? Alright, does that re regenerate or something? Not sure what that does. So apparently when you get these rockets you're obliged to use them. As far as I can make out, I'm using the D-pad. Um, at the moment. Can I use the... No, I can't use the analog with the D-pad for these games. Federation research ship successfully forced to planet surface. Orders to Dawn Aaron from Ridley. Locate the ship and steal the Metroid specimen before the Federation fleet arrives. Okay. Whatever. I'll go along with that. Oh well we've got that anyway. Yeah we know the map. Found that out mate. Shoot that? No, nothing here. Hang it down there. Yeah, really cool art style. I love it. Hey, you hope we've got company, I think. Oh no. Something tells me that they're going to come to life. Let me just check the other side before, because I'm intrigued. I like doing everything, do you know what I mean? But it's a bit difficult in this game, because it's, uh, it's going to take time to explore. We've got lift one and lift two. Shall we take lift one? Or lift two? Just take this one down. Oh god, we're going into pure darkness. Alright, oh, we've changed into that suit. Oh hell. Are you up? Get off. Don't touch me. 
He has to get me back. Sod him. <gasps> Seems to be the only way I can uh, I can duck there then. So I can't crouch, sorry, I can't crouch. Apparently. So we're gonna have to um Jog over that one. Come on, get with it. For God's sake. Yeah, I think that's killing me actually. A bit of a bugger. It's a bit awkward. Oh, I got more rockets, got more rockets. Just what the doctor ordered. Five more, that'll do me. Ah, right, I'm not obliged to use them then. Hmm. Thought I was. More rockets. And more rockets. Well, apparently the maximum is five there, as far as I can see. And they're just constantly spawning out of that bloody hole. What the hell? Get off. Uh, I'm starting to be an arsehole now. It's going to take me some getting used to. That's buggered off and I'm dead. God, that was tough. So, considering I've just uh, sort of dived into this blindly, um, not too bad, really. Only to be expected. At least it's real, that's what I always say. At least it's real. There's no editing or anything. It's just me making a fool of myself. Which I quite enjoy sometimes I'm only human after all and that ball doesn't protect me then it's difficult for me to get my head around this so how am I supposed to get down there then I will get used to them. I will get used to them. Pick that up. And this is where we get some rockets, I believe. We've already got them. Oh, I've got one of those orb thingies. Whatever that is. Hover off! Nobody asked you to come over here, mate. Oh, bloody hell. Anyway, he's going to finish me off. I couldn't duck down there. This is going to be like a fine art, I think. Being able to play this, especially for me. Yeah. Still haven't got to grips with it, unfortunately, but bloody hell. Do what we can. And I think what I'm going to do... Can I get back up there? Can, I can. I can get back up there. So it's great to be able, able to interact with all, the, with this, all the levels and things and being able to go back without too much trouble. I think I watched one video on it, the gameplay. So obviously you've got to get grips with the controls and whatnot. And I thought I'll just do it live. Do it live! That was not live for you guys, obviously. But, uh, 
But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Right, so we're going down now, lift two. <coughs> and then we'll um we'll take a quick butchers and then we'll bring the video to an end and I'll leave you those links that I mentioned earlier. So you've got to adjust to this. The game does not really adjust to you, you've got to adjust to it. Um so expect these retro controls, which I'm finding tough, but that's all right. Nobody said it was going to be easy. I mean, it's Metroid, isn't it? Good excuse. Metroid, isn't it? That terrible was hard, but this is like uh, more than hard. It's just awkward at the moment until I get a grip on myself. will do. All in due course. All in good time. I like the way you can, you can aim up there. She, sorry. This is called Aaron, I think. Hey, yo. Real, an eerie landscape. Alien like Martian type landscape here. I mean, can you imagine me doing a speedrun on this? Me neither. What's all that about? Eh, yeah, what's all that about, eh? And then you got your old secret areas and stuff, I believe. Right, how do you use these bloody rockets? Let's find something to shoot at. Into the abyss, all these caverns and that are really sort of intriguing. Uh, really are, but I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need some practice. And now we've got another lift, but we can get down there as such. Do I need to fire a rocket? How the hell do you fight? Oh man. Ah, right, so it's a select button. I've got it. Select button changes from normal shot to rockets, just in case you're wondering. Now, that does nothing. I'm, I'm just wasting the rocket there. And I'm not going to be able to get out there, I don't think. Is there any way? No way. So we're probably looking for a switch then. To be able to... What? What? What the hell was that? Was that... Just a bit of floating. Just a bit of floating. Nothing to worry about. Bugger. Never gonna get up there in a million bloody years. There you go, told you so. Um so we didn't get any specimens at all. Um but not to worry because I'm gonna get some uh, practicing on this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave um I'm gonna leave a few links below. Uh, you need the original uh, ROM file for this, Metroid, for the NES, right? Not the Super Nintendo, the NES. Um, if you're into emulation, you've probably already got it. So, you're going to have to download the patch and um, run a little program to patch it, and then Bob's your uncle. Okay, guys, so um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this, or you'd like to see me improve and get my shit together, uh, give us a thumbs up, hit that like button now, 
and uh, have a good one. Have a good weekend, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.